All right, fam. I want to take you through this because a lot of folks may be dealing with stuff similar to this. I got a lot of shadows here. My, my bad. Um, can't get the lighting right on this thing. But anything that's really high is me. This is the starting December 16th. Right, your blood sugar, I think, should be... What should your blood sugar be, Nicole? Um, like 110? 100? Yeah, under that? 90 to 110. 90 to 110. So we tested that, and we are like, yeah, this thing is screwed up. It doesn't work or something. And then we tested the kids, and we're like, oh, it does work. And it tested the kids again, and it worked. So this is 12, 10. What day did I start this, Nicole? 12-16. So 12-16. So 12-18... I got a 155, but that was, you know, we're basically at this point, we are starting a completely new diet, right? Where there's no sugar, there's no, it, there's no flour, there's no breads, there's no nothing. Essentially, it was, it was lettuce and lentils is the way we went on this. And extreme exercise. I guess the extreme exercise is where I was. Now, there's a phenomena, so there's 1219. And there's a phenomena they call, I, I don't know what they call it, but it's from 2 a.m. to 8 a.m. And your blood sugar will raise way up. Basically, I was testing every morning in the 170s. And it was super high. And as you see us go through this stuff, some of these, anything low are the kids. Um, anything high is me. And so there's 1221. That is 152. 1222. Um, 199, right? And y you can't, with where the state that I am, you cannot have a single ounce of sugar. You cannot have anything. I have been a super, super good boy, and I haven't eaten sugar for months. Um, well, I don't know. Last, it's, it's been a while. It takes a while to get your diet dialed in, right? And um, these are a lot of stabbings. When you see it drop down, it's usually because I was sitting on my little Schwinn Airdyne wannabe, and I was crushing it down. And uh, you, could, you can sit there and you can do an hour or so on that. And, I mean, if you are just do high-intensity training, you'll lower it. You'll drop it. It changes things. And so I've been testing this and I've been going through all of this. And it is to the point right now where we have actually reset whatever it is. So I'm going to go all the way to where we are now. And I just tested this morning because I tested last night after a Shabbat. And after the Shabbat, it was... Nine, it was in the 90s, which means I hadn't exercised at all that day. I had been just eating my almond snacks or whatever it is. I mean, there's a nice 202, right? It does not take anything. Even this was, uh, this was 6'4", right? And this was real frustrating. Yeah, 525, this is at night. So I test at night, I mean, it's extremely high. And you're not going to live being up in these numbers. Your, your body's just boiling. Your blood is boiling. So even 6.4 and 6.5, this takes a lot of time. Um, one of the big things is we've been drinking mango tea. And it's basically we just take leaves off a mango tree and Nicole boils them up. And you just drink some chloroform tasting stuff. It's terrible. And here's where I am going with this is last night I tested at 90s. All right, so there's the very first one. Uh, I, think I, just, I think I just blew this machine up. Yeah, I do. I just broke it. Um, so last night, I believe that um, that I there's last night, right? So this is right after Shabbat, and there's no exercise at all. And I had I had even eaten just a small itty bitty tiny pieces of fruit, which I, I rarely eat fruit. I am probably the most dedicated uh, dietitian dude around at this point. Um, it's fun crawling out of my coffin, trying to get out of the coffin at this point. But between this and high blood pressure, this is what I'm working on. So I believe we have conquered that because today was the very first day. Um, was that that? No, today was the very first day right there. So that I woke up this morning and at 549, I scored a 108. I've never been low in the morning after the 2 a.m. to 5, 8 a.m., whatever your body runs this thing. And so I believe everything is being reset. And so, um, I guess the keys to this is if you find somebody with a mango tree, have them rip all the, tr the leaves off the mango tree and, uh, you can boil that up and you just, you, you drink that forever. I mean, you just, I, I've been drinking that for, how long have you been drinking that for Nicole? I think it's been 
month. A month. A month, and we went and got this. Two weeks to a month. Yeah, so it's two weeks to a month is where we've been drinking the mango tea. But it's it's a very, I mean, I basically, like like I did with caffeine, it's cold turkey. Everything has to go cold turkey. I stopped completely. There was no anything out of it. This is the mango tea right there. It is, uh, well, I can't see anything. Let me pop the lid off there. Yes. Um, it is mango tea. So, um, is this the one that you boiled or the no, one that's... No, this is just the one that I put in the fridge for night. And it, it doesn't taste too bad. It doesn't taste real good, though. So, anyway, this may be hope to people out there who are diabetics. And I know there's different kinds of diabetics, and I refuse to go to the doctor. I, I will not... I will not go to one of those butchers. After 2019, I will never go to one of those butchers ever again. I don't trust them. I don't trust what they've done to humanity, and I'm not good with it. So um, it is possible to regulate your blood sugar without drugs, without any kind of insulin whatsoever or anything. I've taken zero drugs, um, and uh, this is where we are at. So it is good news, and I'm going to post this on several different um, platforms because I know that... Um, I know that people struggle with this stuff, and I don't know how many people struggle with it, um, but I'm just keeping it real what I'm dealing with, and it's literally, you know, climbing out of the coffin. I've, I've destroyed my body. I, I needed Matty D's uh, uh, guide to health like 25 years ago, and uh, unfortunately, I did, not, uh, I did not have it, and so here I am trying to battle out, and so now i got to deal with the blood pressure. Blood pressure is really high, and um, I'm working through that, trying to get through that as well, so... Hopefully, this will help one of you guys, and um, we will uh, talk to you guys next time. So there is, there is a chance you guys can do this without drugs. And let me, let me finalize this whole, this whole conversation. Is I am not just exercising. I'm cranking it up. And I know I've lived a lifetime in MMA. I have very, very good cardio, even though I'm a big, out-of-shape guy with my, my blood about to boil and my heart about to explode. Um, I still have very good cardio. I can lay down 60 minutes on a bike and just run it really, really hard. Um, and so, oh, and I've lost 100 pounds, wife says, since I've done this. So um, the weight coming off is a big thing. The diet is everything. I think the mango tea is helping a little bit on this. And um, yeah, but you, you absolutely, you can't, you can never do it. My, my entire family eats muffins and eats crap, the, the same crap I used to eat all my life, and I can't even look at it. For the first few weeks, it, it was killing me. Um, I cheated for the first few weeks, and it showed on these tests. You can't, you can't cheat. You can't even have one bite of, of muffin batter. You can't even have one muffin um, at the stage I was in, and it, it was hot. I was really hot to the point where I believe that I went blind because of this. So I'm going to put this out there because um, I love you guys, right? I'm only showing you guys this because... Uh, hopefully this can save some of your guys' lives or, or at least keep you guys from going into the uh, white coat butchers. All right, guys. Much love. I'm out.